Well, hello guys. It is a beautiful, I think it's around noon. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe 1130. So I thought I'd get out and take a little walk today. Um, actually, I try to walk every day. But today my daughter wasn't feeling well. So I said, well, if you're sure, but I'm going to go walk alone then. So um, this is my area, but it's um, a little... Um, different because it's the same these are the same housing builders as my my units but um, it's a little farther from my house because I don't want to walk by where the dog is that dog that attacked me that time or tried to knock me down um, that really scared me so we are walking this way because I don't want to take a chance on that dog again aren't these houses pretty you guys we love that one right there. Um, it's a nice walk. Uh, I love all the trees. I think these were built about the same time mine were, around 2003. But I don't know, because I wasn't. I didn't live here at the time. So anyway, oh, I'm already winded, you guys. <laughs> and tomorrow I'm walking up to, um, what's it called? Hear the fountain. Somebody's got a fountain here. Skinner Butte, is that it? No. Yeah, maybe, Skinner Butte. Oh, there's a Spencer Butte, one of those. And um, as I walk up there, I already tend to get um, winded. I had to stop the other day. Can you believe it? It's cute. Cute little neighborhood. Super cute little houses. Very clean. Very well kept. There's a fountain across the street over there. See it? Along that house, right? In the layer. Um, I love the... I happen to love the... Uh, rock work and so yeah but see they have these I have this plant in, in my house in front of my house too and these people try to do what I do and keep it trimmed down but there's some down there that you'll see they don't trim it down but I don't like this plant at all and on my house it's the one that's got to go maybe I'll show it to you um maybe we'll do a little not a tour but or what the heck maybe a little tour of the house and the yard I just have to kind of be careful on the internet you know and I know some of you are dying to know where I took a part-time job, but I'm not going to say because, you know, I always tell you guys safety first on the internet. And I know that I'm safe with you, but you never know who is listening and you never know who's watching. And I prefer not to say for safety reasons, you know, you never know. You just never know. And I don't want to take that chance. And I don't want to be too vulnerable. Yeah. Oh, wow. So see, these are the ones that somebody doesn't... I think this is the same thing when they don't um, trim them. Anyway, so yeah. So that's what... And I'm really looking forward to it. I start day after tomorrow. And by the time you've seen this video, there's a chance that I've already started. Because I'm kind of in that pretty all that brickwork. Guys, I love bricks on houses. Like the facade, isn't that beautiful? I just love that. I'm, my house has a little brickwork. Oh, look at somebody has one of these for their lawn to mow. My lawn is so small I could mow it myself, but I do have a gardener um, that comes every Monday. And um, it's kind of nice not to have to worry about it. It's $100 a month, though. Um, so, like, I could probably go buy a... Um, an electric mower and a trimmer and just be done with it and do it myself and who knows someday maybe I will but not today <sighs> so um yeah let's see what else is new um I am oh look at this apple tree look at all the apples on the ground it's probably why I don't have very many um what do you call it um, uh, birds. I stopped trying to feed the birds because it just didn't work out anyway. Yeah, they, they weren't coming. Hydrangea growing. Hydrangea, you guys. What else, what else kills me is that, um, was it? Peonies grow here. And look at, I think those are called black-eyed Susan. I'm not sure. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to put this down for a second. So this is like an older neighborhood right here, which I love. I just love this older neighborhood. And my favorite house is the one way down there at the edge of the street. 
that we're going to walk by. That is my like favorite house in the neighborhood. I love it. This house is interesting. Every time we walk by, there's always a dog or a cat or just something going on, barking. Or one time the cat was so engrossed in whatever it caught, it completely ignored us. It was really funny. I mean, it was busy chomping down on whatever it caught. <laughs> I was like, ew, I don't know what that is and I don't want to know. Anyway, look at the trees. Aren't they pretty? So, yeah, I love this neighborhood. The streets are nice and wide and the houses are all different. They're very, very eclectic. My daughter can't get over the mushrooms. Look at this. She's like, Mom, there's mushrooms here. You know, see them all up on that yard? See them right there? Isn't that funny? That's not something you see in Southern California, you guys. Mushrooms. So, yeah. And I've been waiting for that log right there to disappear. It's been there for a couple weeks now. I think it's somebody's firewood. They just haven't gotten around to getting it chopped up. And I do see that they have a fireplace there. It looks like a wood burning. So, maybe soon. <laughs> Some hair in my nose and my mouth. Anyway, look at the beautiful sky today. It's so pretty. So I've had some people ask me, please do a drive around. Look at the sunflower seeds over there. See them? Sunflowers. Pretty. And, uh, hear the train? Anyway, um, so I thought, well, I'll do this today. And I might go over to the thrift store to look for a, a shoe rack. Because I realize I do need a shoe rack. So I might take you over to the thrift store today um, and try to film inside there. I won't talk because it's really impossible to talk at the, at the thrift store. So I'll probably just, um, but I'd love to show you. I don't know if I've showed you this. See, they have some tomatoes growing in a nice little garden here. Isn't this pretty? I could do a little tiny garden. Oh my God, there's some crocus up here. I have to, sh I actually have to sh cross the street to show you this crocus, you guys. It's the most beautiful crocus I think I've ever seen. It's so big. But it's theirs, the people that are pulling out. And I don't want to freak them out. So, anyway, and they have a nice house. Well, can you see the crocus right there? It's really pretty. So, yeah. Can you see that? It's the most, it's the prettiest bunch of crocus I think I've ever seen. I wish, I can't get up close, it's gonna look weird. But yeah, my, and it was, it's opened really high now, but it wasn't that open yesterday. But anyway, there's my favorite house. We love these houses. There's a monkey tail tree. I know, I'm all over the place, you guys, but you'll have that when you walk with me. Lauren says I'm like a little kid. But see, that? it looks like a monkey tail. Somebody's dog. Okay, but there's my favorite house right there. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that house. So pretty. And you know they have a beautiful view. If you go down, if you look straight ahead, you know there's a big view over there. But yeah, that is my favorite house right there, you guys. It's gorgeous. I mean, I know it would be too big for me, but I actually wouldn't care. I want that house. Yeah. Oh, there's a squirrel. See him running? Run, run, run. Run for your life, little squirrel. I was going to cut my, um, what is it called? Ar Arborvita off like that. But I don't know. I actually kind of like mine the way it is. I actually might grow another um, row of them to keep it quieter. Look at these houses. Big trees. I'm not loving the street I live on, you guys. Oh my God, it's so noisy. Like, I really don't like it. I love everything about that house. Oh, no, that's not true. I wish I had a fourth bedroom, and I wish I had a pantry, and I wish I had a laundry room that had a tub. Some of you have heard this from me before, but you're gonna hear it again. And I wish I didn't live on a busy street. I don't live on the busy street, but it's in the back of my house, and it's, oh, it's like in the morning, seven o'clock. Well, it doesn't sound exactly like that, but it's pretty gross. Even with a pillow, I know, look at the clouds. Even with a pillow over my head, it's just too much. So, I don't know. I'll probably hang on to it for a few years. Um, and by the time I get around to selling it, 
the market will have crashed interest rates will be really high and by then i'll be used to it right so i was talking to someone and they should have said i should get a pink noise like white noise but pink noise and i'm going to try that today i'm going to get a nap but i don't think it's really a good idea Look at that bunch of trees right there i love that i don't think it's a great idea to sleep with earbuds but maybe it would be okay to put them in my um ears in the morning when I wake up so that I could fall back to sleep just for a couple of hours, right? I think that should be okay. I don't know. So, look at all the pine needles. Yeah, pretty green grass. It's going to really green up here soon. It rained for a few days. It was so nice. It was really nice. And um, it rained and then Today's like going to be 60 something. Tomorrow's going to be like 71. I love the weather here, you guys. I don't know if I mind the rain or not, but so far I'm just feeling cozy. I made zucchini bread, gluten-free zucchini bread, and it turned out really good. I thought it was really good, but I don't think it's my best batch, so I don't think I'm going to share it. I'm not sure. Lauren said I should, but I'm not sure. I mean, not everybody likes gluten-free. Uh, so... I made a zucchini bread and Lauren comes home and she's like, Mom, what's that smell? Because I usually have like really gummy candles going. And I'm like, what does it smell like? She goes, it smells like you're baking. And I go, I am. I'm baking zucchini bread. She's like, oh my God, thank God. So she was very happy. So yeah, I've been getting up in the morning having some egg whites with a little bit of cheese and a piece of zucchini bread. So there, I blew my diet right there. I was doing so well on my diet and then... Not really a diet, but just watching my sugar intake. And I blew it this last week. I got so much stress. And it doesn't take much to blow it, does it, you guys? It's just not fair. It just doesn't take much to blow it at all. So, yeah. Ooh, some dogs are unhappy right now. So, morning. <sighs> Isn't that pretty? So pretty, you guys. Look at those beautiful clouds. Aren't they really pretty? Big fluffy, fluffy clouds like that. Well, there's a cute um, man, mailman. He's got like a man bun. He's so cute. Like I never thought I'd like a man bun. I see a lot of them up here. I thought, I thought they'd be out of style by now, but, but he's got kind of a messy man bun going on. I think it looks really cute on him. He's a shorty. Doesn't look much taller than me. Look at this house, it's overgrown. Not sure if I like it or not. <sighs> so, what have you guys been watching? So these are rhododendrons and they look like they're starting to, look at bud. They're starting to bud. See that? They are, they're starting to bud. A lot of dogs around here, but at least they're contained, right? So that's good. I'm gonna get away out of this guy's way. Or whatever. Oh, look at they got a nice little fountain, see it? Cute, uh huh? Okay, let's go around this guy. He's gonna hit me. Sorry about that, you guys, but he's got a job to do. I'm just kind of in his way. I don't have a very good, um, I can get up here and go around him. I just don't want to smell gas the whole time. Please don't take it right. Please don't take it right. Oh, good. Because I'm going right. <laughs> I always go right here at the blue house. beautiful sky. So let's see, what, what was I talking about? I don't even remember. So let's find something else to talk about. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, I was supposed to go to my girlfriend's this weekend in Portland to a barbecue, and that's not happening because I'm working. I said, I'm so sorry. And she said, no, I get it. I understand. You know, because he's... I said, you know, I don't even know my hours yet, you guys, but um, yeah. So, I'm going to get those this week sometime. And, um, 
I'll be happy when that happens. So I like these houses adorable. See, I love their porch. It's a little bit bigger than mine. This is the bigger houses over here. Ours are, on my side, they're a little smaller. So yeah, I won't be going to Portland this weekend, but it's actually okay. Um, and so today's kind of my, um, this is my catch up day at home. I'm gonna catch up on some videos, catch up on some craft uh, projects. I'm going to um, go through my closet because I, I kind of have to have a uniformy type thing to wear. So I've got to find a uniforms. I've got these shoes that I've kept forever. My, my daughter used to say, what are those and why do you have them? They're like these black leather Mary Janes, but they're very, very, very well made. Like they're, they're like so well made and they're flat and they're perfect. And so, um, they're going to be my work shoes. And um, so I'm going to go, I found them, but now I'm going to go, I have some mink oil or something. I'm going to kind of, I hope I still have some mink oil. I'm going to um, shine them up and find, like, go through my closet, kind of, you know, and you guys, I really don't mind going back to work because the hours aren't going to be crazy. I don't have to get up at oh dark 30 and come home at oh dark 30 and it's not a career. Uh, it's just a part-time gig where you go in and you say, okay, tell me what to do. And they do. And then you go home by the time you're sick of them, it's time to go home. So it's perfect, you know, and I think it'll just pay for gas and groceries. So, you know, it would be nice if I didn't have, have to do that, but, uh, and I actually don't have to do that. But I should do that. You know what I mean? A little, a little extra money never hurt anybody. And um,
day and I am on my way to um, Spencer Butte and I'm going hiking this morning and I'm going to make it to the top today if it kills me. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know where I left off. I think I just left off at the um, thrift stores and I didn't buy anything special. So I think I bought some masking tape. Oh, and I bought a, a like a, a square piece of porcelain to step on in front of my trash. So, you know, like a tile. So yeah, that's all I did. Look how long this train is, you guys. I, I ask you. Like, these things out here are so long. And then, you're waiting for them. Oh my gosh, I should cross this tour. I should, oh boy. Um, I, I think I missed the overpass app. Uh oh. Because we're going to have to, we're going to be um, at a, we're going to have to cross these tracks. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. So look at the water. Isn't that pretty? It's like a swamp, huh? Drain the swamp. Anyway, um, hold on a second. There's some more water. There's a lot of water here in Oregon. <laughs> That's one thing I'm not used to. But anyway, um, it's about 61 degrees outside, so it's perfect for a hike. This hike is all uphill. Oh, there's the end of it. Um, which isn't good because those are the engines, right? Or is that the caboose? Uh, it might be going the way I'm going. Do I, I don't know. Do I see a guy in there? I think I saw a guy in there. Ooh. There's a lot of trains here. You hear them at night. We heard them uh, yesterday on my walk. If you guys remember? I love the sound of a train because when I was a kid, I lived in Portland, Southeast Portland, if you guys know. And I lived um, in Brooklyn. And there's a train, I think it's like 17th Avenue, like runs parallel to 17th. And Holgate, that whole area right down and there's a bunch of trains. It's like this. But, you know, lots and lots of tracks. I think it was like a train yard or something. And uh, I always heard the train in the distance. And I always loved the sound. Always, always, always loved the sound of a train. I hope they never change the whistle. You know what I mean? I think they probably already have. But I still hear the old whistles that I'm used to. And I love that sound. You know, some sounds should just never change. Like the sound of a phone. That was pretty cool. Okay, I'm glad they changed the fax machine sound. That was pretty gross. Um. Doorbells are pretty cool. Old fashioned doorbells. Um, yeah. Just some sounds should never change. So, anyway, so yeah, we're going to go up. To, I think we're going up to the top of. The, oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, you see that mountain in the distance? Hold on. I think that's where we're going. Oh. Uh, wait, hold on. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that that's where we're going. See that bump? It's not really a mountain, it's a bump. It's a hill. It's a butte. That's where we're going. We're going to Spencer Butte this morning, and it's a lovely morning. I'm really excited. Um, but, uh, well, here comes another train. Like, engine. Probably needs more than one engine to pull that sucker. It's miles and miles and miles long. I think we're going to miss it, though. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to make an effort to get over to all those workers. I've been working on the railroad. <laughs> I couldn't resist. All right, I'll talk to you guys. I wanted to show you. I'm almost to the top of the butte, I think. Oh, not the top, but to the parking parking lot. Oh, that scared me. Um, yeah, so Eugene is relatively um, flat. And uh, we're only like 400 feet above sea level. So... It's pretty flat, and um, but it's really green. And uh, but this drive out to Spencer Butte is really nice for me because um, I just enjoy being on the trees, in the trees, and seeing the hills and stuff. So I'll try to video some of the hike on the way down, but not on the way up because it's too hard for me. It's like, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so out of shape right now. Like, how did that happen? It doesn't take long. It really doesn't. So, yeah. Okay, it's a pretty drive up here. <clears throat> and somebody did ask me to, to video some of my drives around, so I thought I would do this since I did my walk yesterday and a little thrifting. And today, no thrifting. I'm working on my another personal journal that I'm going to be working on. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. 
So today I'm going to go home and pick out my signatures and sew them and maybe do a, um, my first junk, uh, junk journal with me. Or not junk journal, but journal with me. Um, yeah. And I've got some stu other stuff that I'm working on for my Etsy store that I need to do. Um, yeah. Isn't this pretty? So pretty. So there's Ridgeline Trail. We're not going there. And there's a sign up here. I remember from last weekend. There's a sign that says, Not Spencer Butte. It's up, up half a mile. <laughs> Somebody put that on their driveway. Not Spencer Butte. Half a mile. And then they have an arrow. <laughs> so a lot of people must have been pulling into somebody's house. Oh, so I hope I'm feeling well enough to get up to the top of this thing today. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I got really dizzy last time and nauseous, you guys. Like, really? Like, I must be that out of shape? Oh, my word. Just, ugh. And I walk every day. So it was just the... It was just the, um, oh, that's why, because people are using Waze and see where that sign is right there that I was just telling you. It says, um, Spencer Butte a half mile, and this one's, and then my Third Waze. Left on Front Road. Oh, see? And, yeah, they had to put that sign there because the, um, Waze tells you to turn left there. But anyway, what was I saying? I, I, I'm just not used to the elevation Third or something. Half a mile. Turn left on Glen Way. You know? I don't know. And I'm getting older, you guys. Older and wiser and not not so much wiser, just older. But look at these trees. It's so pretty. I love this park. I, I wanted Lauren to come, but again, she wasn't feeling well. So maybe next time. Here we go. And I'm 15 minutes early, which is fine. In 1,000 feet, turn left. My only problem is, is I'm missing part of Barb Owen's live stream today. I'm really bummed about that. But, um, I'll catch it. I'll catch it. There we go. Little oh, puppy. Alright, isn't this pretty, you guys? Wait till you see it. I'll show you parts of it on the way down again, because... In 300 feet, make a U-turn. No, I don't think I, I don't think I want to make a U-turn. I think I'm going to park right here. So there, right here by these blackberries. There we go. We are in the woods. Feet. Turn right on South Willamette Street. <laughs> okay, we back light in a little bit. We are at the top of Spencer Butte. We have a little squirrel friend right here. I have something, but I don't know if it's a good idea to feed the squirrels. Is it? Well, when we were here last time, all those kids were up there eating the nature. The squirrels got fed. <laughs> well. Yeah. They're climbing up their legs. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's kind of what I'm afraid of. Oh, good. It's not like a sheer 